Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering why we are sitting in my conservatory and why is she drinking coffee? Because we're going to have a coffee date. You can drink your tea because there's going to be a little bit of tea. Today we're going to be talking about what's the most popular thing on the internet right now. The Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection launch day and my personal experience of this launch day now if you continue watching you're in for a bloody treat so without further ado let's get into it guys know that uh, Shane Dawson has been working alongside of Jeffree Star Cosmetics with Jeffree um, to come out with a palette. Now if you don't know these two people and you're into makeup, honey, catch up. My goodness, Jeffree is like the king slash queen of the beauty industry. So they just come out with a currently, I think it's six part series, but there is more to come um, of just what goes into actually making a makeup line or a makeup collection or just whatever. And it's actually really fascinating. So even if you didn't really like Jeffrey or you don't like Shane, it's a really good thing to actually watch and just actually find out what goes on behind the scenes and actually how many companies to my surprise, actually trick you and kind of take money from you. So there's a couple of brands I'm kind of like, from that, I ain't touching. But let's kind of get down to, you know, what we're supposed to be talking about. So, uh, November 2nd for us. Saturday, last Saturday. Oh. Now, people that were following it all knows that it launched at... 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I think think that's how you say it. Anyways, here in New Zealand, that worked out to be 6 in the morning. <laughs> I know not as bad as some people. I think some people had like 4 in the morning, 3 in the morning. You yeah, screw that. Anyways, I had work on Saturday, so I was like, you know what? I start work at 7, so I'll, you know, I'll have enough time to buy it. I'm really onto it before I go to bed. Now, I've been watching Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star for so long, and I've just been so excited. And honestly, I've been like a proud mum watching their series. Like, Jeffree is just such an amazing friend to Shane, and Shane is just an amazing friend for Jeffree. I think their friendship, hi doggy, <laughs> is just beautiful. Like, friendship goals right there. And like, honestly, I couldn't be more proud of the collection that they came out with. I will insert, I can't even insert a photo. Oh, that's so shit. So, I was really onto it. I had the money. I even worked out what it would be converted and all of that just so I could actually have a chance to get the palette and get the collection. I wanted the whole thing. I was gonna get the 210 USD um, conspiracy collection. So I set my alarms for five, I wake up, I go onto the site, I'm already signed in, my address is already automatically in there, it's just my payment and selecting what I wanted. So from there what I did is I went and looked at Jeffrey's mirrors, because I decided I wasn't going to get the pig mirror, I was going to get... Hey doggies. <laughs> I was going to get um, the all black um, Jeffrey... Jeffree Star uh, mirror instead of getting the pig because I, I didn't quite like the pig if I was being like completely honest. I think it's cute but I would rather because I don't have a Jeffree Star mirror or a pig mirror I would choose a Jeffree. So anyways put that in my cart because I was like that's not part of the collection. I don't have to wait till six for that to upload so then I won't have to worry about that because it'll be ready to go. So then it hits like 559 
like a minute away from launch. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna refresh the page to see what it does. And then all of a sudden, like three of the, I think there was like a liquid lip that showed up. Um, there was a makeup bag and what else was on there? It was something really weird, I can't remember. I think it was just a couple of the liquid lips, like none of the palettes were on there. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, okay, it's probably just like loading up. So it hit six o'clock, I refreshed the page and all of a sudden I'm kicked out the website. So everyone knows that all of us, you know, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson fans crash the bloody website. So that was awesome. Like I'm so like just that, you know, it wasn't ideal, but for Shane, for his first ever launch, that was just so, so special. Um, and he should be so proud of himself just to show that there was that much traffic trying to get his palette that it crashed the website. Um, and then, so from there I was like, oh my God, oh my God, like what if other people have, haven't been kicked out? I'm going to, you know, lose this palette. But I didn't give up. I didn't give up. I refreshed the page just continuously for 40 minutes. Like 40 minutes I refreshed this page, lying in bed, just like, I have to start getting ready for work soon. Here I am like refreshing the page and I kept just getting kicked out the website and I just kept going and kept going because I knew, I was like, it's just like this because there will be so many people going after this palette, this collection. So I kept going and then I finally uploads with the correct stuff. So as much as it was crashing, I was finally getting onto the page, but not everything was up. And I was like, the one thing I wanted to select wasn't there. So it finally comes up on the um, on the website. I select it. It goes to the cart. My mirror's in the cart. So I was like, okay, now it's all going to plan. I go in and I check out. So from the checkout, I... Like it went through and then I came up to this page here and it pretty much said, thank you for your purchase. I'm, you know, just waiting in line um, just because it is, there is such high traffic. Like just bear with us, don't refresh the page. So I got ready for work, went outside, you know, caught up, you know, with my partner and was just like, you know, look what's going on. Like it's crashing. It took me so long to get to this. And then um, I get a call. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I hope this doesn't like affect my order. I take my call anyways, that's a whole other story. And then I was like, oh my gosh. So all the way to work, I didn't drive myself to work. So I was lucky. I was able to just sit there and look at my phone and just go, okay, you know, it's there. Like I've just got to wait. Little did I know, I found out that so many people were getting booted off that page and they were having to do the whole thing again. So I was so lucky in that aspect. I was so happy. And then from there, I got to work. I started at seven. So this launched at six. So I finally get to work at seven. And then at five past seven, I get um, the thing pop up saying, put in all your like, um, like, card information so I was like okay typed it in and I checked out I checked that everything was still in my car all of that checked out and then it popped up with this pretty much you know you're gonna get a confirmation email thank you for your order and I was like oh my god I've got it like I went onto Instagram and I posted it up for you guys and I was like yes like I got the like I got the collection guys like a review coming and then a couple of you know minutes later I was like oh well I'm gonna check how much it like came out of my account and nothing had come out of my account and I was like that's so weird so I waited an hour and I never got a confirmation email and money never went out of my account and I was just like what is actually going on I was thinking about trying to order it again but then by that point that part that I wanted had sold out and then I was like oh, I'll get the just the palette but then I was like I don't want to get the palette and then you know be charged for this because I was like I don't have the money to do that 
So I just waited really patiently and then nothing was happening. I wasn't getting any emails. I was reading posts on makeup pages of girls being like, I've had my email. Um, I've had the money taken out of my account, but I haven't had the email. And I was like, oh my God, something so weird is going on. And then I was hearing people that had a smooth sale and I was just like, oh my God, everything's now officially sold out. So like, I was just hoping that I got it. Um, and we're now sitting at Wednesday and I don't have the palette guys. I never received an email. I never had money taken out of my account. I've been speaking with like 15 other girls that have experienced the same thing as me. And one of the girls actually, I emailed Jeffree Star Cosmetics and they were, uh, they didn't reply back to me, but one girl did and they did reply back. And I totally understand why they didn't reply because they will be so busy. Um, and they were saying that there was just a massive glitch in that early moment of the um, launch that a lot of people's information didn't actually process properly so their orders were lost um, which really sucked because that means I was one of them and I know people just missed out in general so you know it is what it is and then today is the relaunch and I didn't even know and I've just I've missed that there's only I think I went on and had a look and all the minis were also sold out. I just, oh my gosh. I just can't win. And I'm just so, so sad that I didn't get any of this palette because I've been following it. And I've never actually bought, like, I've bought Jeffree Star Cosmetics, obviously, but I've never actually bought it off his website. I've always gone through the wholesales in New Zealand. And I was like, I'm finally going to go on his website and I can get the stuff that they don't stock, like the mirrors. And I should have just bought the mirror, but then... I just, I got to a point where I was just like, I don't know what's happening. And I didn't want to, you know, have any money taken out of my account and possibly not given back because I had no record of it. And it wouldn't have been their fault, but safety precautions. Um, yeah, it was just, it was stressful. So I'm going to have to wait till 2020 to get <laughs> any of the any of the palette, uh, palettes or any of the collection and I'm just like, I'm watching reviews and I'm just like, this sucks. It so sucks, but it is what it is. It's not Jeffrey, um, Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, um, fault at all. You know, it's not even the person that, you know, they do their stuff through. What was it like Shopify? It's, it's not their fault. You know, no one could have anticipated how many people were actually going to go and want this palette. And honestly, oh, why do I just keep saying palette? There's a whole fucking collection. Anyways, it is what it is. And, you know, yes, I'm a bit gutted. One of the girls at work even got the palette and I found that out today and I was just like, really? <laughs> but I'm happy for her. I'm happy for everyone that actually got a palette. Yeah, I missed out, but it's not the end of the world. I will get it. And I'm, I'm happy to see what people are doing. And I'm just so, it just comes down to like, I am just so happy for Shane, especially Shane. Like Jeffrey has had success like this, but Shane hasn't. And he really deserves it. He, I don't know him, but he does seem like a very humble person. And so does Jeffrey. Like I can't get over how much hate, you know, that they've gone through, both of them, because they don't deserve it. They seem like beautiful people. Um, and yeah, they've put so much hard work into this. And you know what? I don't care how launch day went, but I, I'm i proud of them. And they should be so proud of themselves. And everyone that's got the palette, you're fucking lucky. <laughs> Good on you. You're like, you managed to crack it. But um, yeah, it was... It was a stressful day and it just wasn't meant to be for me right now. <laughs> Violence. But instead, I still needed to get my makeup fixed and I was like, because there's nowhere where I can drive to where I live that sells Jeffree Star. Like, I had to buy it all online and I was like, I need a makeup fix, like, right now. So I went into my local Mecca store and I went to the Morphe um, stand and they either had the James Charles palette or the Jaclyn um, Hill. So <laughs> I still got something new. I got the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I haven't had. I've never tried. I know I'm late to the party, forgive me. And then I also got their um, Morphe contour kit, which um, is pretty cool because I actually had run out and I needed more. So I'm super happy. Like the colors are gorgeous. And I just love supporting people that just put in hard work. Like 
I'm so happy. But look how pretty that is. So if you want to see me do a look with this palette, um, comment below. Let me know. And let me know on your, um, like, what you guys also came across with launch day. Um, I would be really interested. Even if you went through the same thing as me, like, that would be interesting. Or to see if you actually ended up having your money taken out and getting a confirmation email a couple days later. Um, or received the parcel and no payment was taken. And no, you know what I mean? Like... I feel like the weirdest shit happened with this launch. But they've broken history. I couldn't be more fucking proud of them. And uh, they've owned it. Honestly, good fucking job, guys. I just, I can't wait for the next episode to come out to see what actually happened on launch day from their side of things. It's It was sad because on the launch day, you know, um, Shane apparently was crying and you know they were all stressed out and the phone call to the other company was getting heated and all of that kind of stuff I was watching at the snaps like I've been following this but um, yeah it, it was sad that he couldn't enjoy that moment because he was so worried about us but at the end of the day he didn't need to worry about us because we were just all trying to get it that's how much we love it and not everyone could get that palette you know there's so many people that love him and it, it would be hard to make that amount of product to match the love that people have for him. So, good job. <laughs> anyway, so that's the motherfucking tea. On that, I got my makeup fix. Not what exactly what I wanted, but Jaclyn Hill's also beautiful and amazing. So, I'm so happy to be able to support her and I would have bought that any fucking ways. But, yeah. Good job guys, I love you and I can't wait to hear about your guys' experiences down below. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm sorry that I actually haven't been um, posting lately. I've just been really, really tired and worn out. I've just been working full time and just doing a bunch of stuff. So I will try to get um, onto doing my videos more regularly again. But um, yeah, once again, congrats to the people that got the palette. Congratulations to Jeffree Star and Shane. Um, and bring on fucking 2020 so I can get this motherfucking palette. Oh, yes, I'm so excited. Anyways, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>